Mm. Hi, good evening. How are you doing? This is Thorn Holder again, um, coming to you from Dream Designs. Um, today, I want to speak about those super achievers, those people that uh, have set their minds on achieving great things. And those people who want to go from being here to being here. You know, there's a space in between. And I want to show you or tell you how to make that space in between a comfortable, enjoyable ride to greatness. <clears throat> now, a lot of people look at greatness as something that could only be taught by people that are great. And I have to ask the question, who decides that you are great? Um, is greatness popularity? So let's come to uh, distinguish between being popular and recognized and being great. Now before there were a lot of cameras, writers and newspapers and so on, greatness went unnoticed. Now because there's cameras everywhere, almost in everybody's hands, it's easy to get your greatness out there. But this does not mean that every bit of greatness is recognized. This does not mean that every bit of greatness is documented or even displayed. You know, for example, for a period of time, I was comfortable keeping what I know to myself. Okay? <laughs> Let me just tell you the type of person I am. I feel good just by being. Okay? I really don't feel the need to go and do something to sh Oh, you good at that thorn, you should go do it for money. Or you should go do it so that people can recognize that you're good at it. No. I'm fine with knowing that I'm good. Um, so there's a, a, there's a certain confidence that comes with to yourself as you sit with yourself deciding um, that you are great. Now, as they say with greatness comes great responsibility. Now, if you take away the, the fanfare of superheroes, and let's have a look at what those responsibilities are. Um, the most important responsibility of being great is actually being great. It's a moment by moment thing. It's not last World Cup or last game or last job or last performance or yesterday. You have to be ready now. If somebody calls you and say, hey, great person. You're great, right? Yeah, well, we need that greatness here. You have to be ready now. And it's a process. It's asymptote. It's a curve. You never really get to the point of, of greatness. It's, you just keep going after it. So what is greatness? Greatness is developing habits and attitudes of mind that, are, uh, that transcend your daily activities. So whatever situation you are inputted in, you are able to make a difference. So closing that gap. First things, it is very unreasonable to be making, let's say you make $12,000 a month, right? And um, you want to start making $240,000 a month. If you do not do anything different and expect to get $240,000 the next month, you're being unreasonable, okay? So what you need to do is find out, all right, this is what I am, this is what I'm worth right now, and this is what I want to be worth in a month. Well, what do you need to do? You know, what do you need to say? Sometimes you may not need to do anything, but you might need to approach things differently. A very important aspect of this is gaining momentum. Momentum helps with confidence, okay? Women will tell you, the most intriguing thing is, to, is for a man to be confident, okay? And to have some basis for his confidence. You can't be thinking that he's the tallest man in the world and he's four foot eleven. That's just, you're delusional. So confidence is very important. And confidence helps with the feeling good. I spoke about feeling good in another video. Okay, so develop the planning to get the confidence. How do you do that? Well, start with an immediate goal. You could start with a goal for today. Something that you don't usually do. Get it done today and get it done a lot faster and a lot better than you usually do. Once you do this, you can now move on to getting something done that requires a little bit more than a day. So let's say it will require a week. Get that done. Okay, put that un under your belt and experience that success. 
as you continue to experience these little successes, your habits, your method of thinking, your confidence changes, your neural pathways changes in your change in your mind. So as you continue to develop confidence, as you continue to develop uh, momentum, then it's a lot easier to believe in the massive greatness. It's a lot easier to, to actually do the jump from here to there. It never really happens uh, as far as in your mind. It does not happen. Oh, shit, I'm great. No, in a, in a person's mind, it may have happened a long time ago before they actually start doing things. But as far as the doing to create the momentum, start getting those successes now, small ones, bigger ones, big, big, big. And then you build up a certain momentum where now things don't even look big anymore. Okay, they just turn into different challenges that you could achieve when you choose to. Okay, so develop the momentum of confidence so that you can uh, transmute any challenges, turn those challenges into uh, moments of learning and action moments. Moments when you take action to implement methods of thinking that causes you to be a cut above the rest. This is Thorne Waller from Dream Designs. Have a pleasant evening. And remember, keep your eyes on the, on the prize and stop putting shit off.